Hello everyone, and welcome back to Alternative Archaeology. In this video, we're going to discuss the megalithic stone heads and figures found in the small town of La Democracia, close to the Pacific coast of Guatemala. These archaeological finds are some of the most unique discovered in all of Central America, and have forced researchers to consider the possibility that an unknown culture once existed in the area outside of the Maya sphere of influence. This has led researchers, including myself, down a path that asks questions such as who carved these unusual megaliths, where did that culture go, and what does it tell us about the capabilities of the ancient inhabitants of this area? Let's find out together. Guatemala is often referred to as the heartland of the ancient Maya. They were one of the major civilizations that made up Mesoamerica, and while dates vary, it's been suggested that they've inhabited the lands of Guatemala, Southeast Mexico, Belize, Honduras and El Salvador for over 5,000 years. The Maya are known for their large-scale construction projects such as pyramids, palaces, temples and urbanised areas. However, what they are not known for are the megalithic carved heads and figures which are situated in the park of a small town known as La Democracia. These are little known to the world even though they've been extensively documented. According to the records, the megalithic heads and figures were recovered from the site of Monte Alto, which lies around 10 kilometers from where they now sit on display. The area seems to have been a regional center for a unique Mesoamerican culture, shown by 45 structures in the region, including a 20 meter high pyramid. It's thought the Monte Alto culture is one of the oldest in Central America and could possibly even predate the Olmecs. The locals had known about the existence of the heads and figures for eons, however, they weren't officially investigated until the late 60s. During the initial excavation work at Monte Alto, a team accompanied by locals of the area used machines to hoist the various megaliths from the ground and move them to the park in La Democracia. The heads are carved from a rough basalt stone and weigh at least a few tons each, with the largest possibly being slightly heavier. None of the heads have hair, but they do have individual facial features that set them apart from one another. All of the heads have closed mouths and eyes, and their overall expression is somewhat reminiscent of a Buddha-like composure. Found alongside the heads were vigors of an enormous size. The bodies of these megalithic beings have huge bellies, and their hands seem to be clutching their stomachs. The figures are referred to as pot bellies due to their stout appearance, and in some cases fat boy statues, seemingly for lack of a better name. The original meaning of the heads and figures is still up for debate. Some researchers believe they represent some kind of ancestral worship, the figures themselves being a portrayal of an ancient tribal king or queen. Others have suggested that they were used as burial markers. However, one idea that's been gaining a lot of traction in recent years is that the large figures may have actually portrayed pregnant women. Perhaps such pot-bellied figures served as functional charms aimed at ensuring safe and successful childbirth. Certainly such figurines representing pregnant women exist all across ancient Mesoamerica. One interesting fact about the heads and figures from Monte Alto that got them the attention of researchers from all around the world was that many of them are magnetically charged. When I first visited the site, one of the locals told me of a story that claims when the figures were first being pulled from the ground many years ago, they actually broke various cranes which attempted to lift them. The heads and figures were pulled back towards the earth due to their strong magnetic charge. In 1976, two researchers, Vincent Malstrom and Paul Dunn, discovered that when they held a compass up to the pot-bellied figures, the needle reacted. Immediately it swung away from true north and directed itself towards the figure. They repeated the same experiment with several other figures and heads at the site, and each time they got the same results, the magnetic force of the stone was far stronger than that of the earth. What this would then suggest is that the stone heads and pot-bellied figures of La Democracia 
are among the oldest magnetic artifacts in the world. Maelstrom continued working on the heads and figures, infatuated by their magnetic properties. He eventually surmised that four of the five pot-bellied figures of Monte Alto were magnetically charged. After his research was complete, Maelstrom went on to conclude that the skilled carvers were actually aware of the magnetism, could identify lodestones, were able to work with them, and knew exactly where the poles were in the rock, so they carved the statues to take advantage of this arrangement. His ideas remained a controversial theory until they were eventually proven some four decades later, when a study by geoscientist Roger Fu of the Harvard University successfully confirmed the findings. In his report he concluded, All four of the heads have a north magnetic pole located in the right temple, while three of them have a south magnetic pole below the right ear. The fourth head has a south magnetic pole just below its left temple. Such a pattern of occurrence is unlikely to be a matter of chance. Of the three pot bellies, two have their magnetic north and south pole located less than 10 centimeters away from each other, specifically between the fingertips. The third has its north magnetic pole located at the back of the neck. The fat boy statues have magnetic poles that are on either side of the navel. Most of the sculptures have a U-shaped magnetic field and the north and south poles are often next to each other. This is consistent with the conclusions made by Maelstrom during his 1976 study. According to researchers, this evidence reinforces the idea that the cultures of pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica understood the principles of magnetism. It's thought these megaliths represent some of the oldest magnetically charged human-made sculptures in the world. But just who carved these enormous heads and figures, and where did that culture go? Their likeness to the famous Olmec heads cannot be ignored. Yet the Monte Alto culture thrived on the opposite coast, nearly 1,000 kilometers away. Could Olmec influence have stretched this far, or are we looking at a previously unknown culture of Central America? During the 70s and 80s, most researchers would have agreed with the idea that the stone heads were influenced by Olmec culture. However, after dating was performed at the site of Monte Alto and surrounding area, they now believe that the heads and figures were carved as early as 2000 BC, but this would then suggest that they predate the Olmecs by around 500 years. This has led to the idea that the heads and fat boy figures at La Democracia are in fact pre-Olmec. Hundreds of smaller pot-bellied sculptures have been found all across central southern Mexico and in the Olmec heartland and right through Guatemala including a small statue from Tikal. Others have been found in Honduras, Belize and El Salvador. But why were they so popular over such a wide area? Those found at La Democracia are by far the largest and best known, but they're not the only ones that exist in Central America. So this brings us to our final question. Could the Monte Alto and Olmec cultures be ancestry related? And what connection did they have with the Maya, if any? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And if I've missed anything about the heads or the figures, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this on ancient history, then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Alternative Archaeology. See you all next time.